Thanks. Hello, YouTube. Good morning. Welcome in. Hi, everyone. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. You don't have to stop talking now, but okay, sure. Everything you fucking say. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Say hi. YouTube, we're here too. She's not alone. Don't worry. I'm not alone. Not alone. I, I swear I have friends. I didn't hire these people at all or anything, I promise. I'll, I want YouTube to know that she laid out all these maps, but there's not one for me. It's kind of messed up. You just go right there. It's fine. Just halfway through the window like you wanted. Yeah. You wanted it halfway through the window. Sorry. <laughs> go on top of the roof. That could be fun up there. <laughs> Anyways. Hello, everybody. Welcome in to Yoga with Juni. Good to see you all this morning. Today is um, a beginner's half a class. So we'll be focusing on just basic um, asanas, so poses. Um, we're going to be working on tree pose a little bit today and um knee open or, or knee up and then knee open so a little bit of standing balances but a lot of um, strength and flexibility you know stretches peppered in there as well so it'll be good it'll be good um whoever's new welcome in i'm good to, good to see you guys hi uh, my name's juni i'm a vtuber and um, i also teach uh yoga in vr chat so it's good to have you guys here um I did want to actually go over a couple things before we start for anybody who's new. Um, as with VR, um, I do have full body tracking um, and you know, as the tracking is fairly good, it's not perfect. So um, there's a couple things that I wanted to go over, namely like my placement of like hands and things like that. So when we're doing poses like uh, tabletop here. So tabletop is when you have your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your, your hips. Um, so what you want to do for, for anything really where you're using your hands to, you know, placing your hands on the mat, you want to drop your controllers. Like do not try and do any of this stuff, you know, on your controllers. You need to have like a really steady foundation through your hands. So spread your fingers out wide um, and really grip the mat. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. So if you're seeing my hands like going into my mat like this, it's because I dropped my controllers and my hands are spread out here. So when we're in, you know, down dog and stuff, um, you're going to want to uh, get that steady foundation through your hands. Uh, um, yeah, what else was I going to mention? I should really make a checklist, but I, I did not do that. Um, balancing in VR tends to be, um, we call it hard mode balancing because it tends to be a lot more difficult than it is in real life. Um, some things that you can do to try and help yourself is like activating pass through mode on your headset. Um, so if you think you're struggling quite a bit, you can try doing that. Um, but do know that if you practice balancing in VR and you find it hard, um, it is because you're doing it in hard mode. So when you take off your headset, everything's a lot easier and you're kind of training yourself in like, you know, 10 times gravity, like a Super Saiyan would. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions before we start? I'm good. Okay. We'll get started then. Um, let me just switch my camera. Alrighty, so today we will start in child's pose. Um, so just coming onto your your mat here, spread your knees out just about as wide as your mat, bringing your big toes together to touch, and then laying your chest down, reaching your hands out in front, and just relaxing your forehead. And we'll begin to arrive today. Continue to take in big, deep inhales. Filling up your lungs. And heavy exhales, pushing it all out through your nose. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. 
And just continue to take a few more breaths on your own. Really exaggerating. Taking long, big inhales and deep, heavy exhales. And if you like from here, you can take your hands and walk them out to the right. If you want a little bit of a stretch in your uh, side body, just moving your hands over to the right. If you like, you can take your left hand, placing it over your right if that's comfortable for you. Just taking a couple more breaths. And then come back to center. And then we'll take it to the left side. Putting our hands out to the left. If you like, you can take your right hand over your left and cross it over. Breathing into the side body. And then coming back to center, regular child's pose. Just relaxing your forehead on the mat, feeling that stretch in your inner thighs. Tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, we'll do cat cows here. So inhale, cow. We're letting the heart drop and raising the chest high, arching our back uh, inwards. And then exhale, cat. Tucking in your, your chin and arching your back. And inhale, cow. Pulling back with the hands, sending the chest forward. Exhale, cat. Puffing up the upper back. One more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And then coming back to a neutral tabletop. Keeping your spine just in a regular position here. Neutral spine. We could do a bit of a foot stretch here. So bringing your feet together, knees together, tucking your toes underneath, and then just sit back. So your toes are tucked here, and we're just stretching out our foot, stretching out our toes. You can adjust the pressure of your hips on your heels based on how much of a stretch you want to get. few more breaths here. And then slowly coming back to tabletop. Keeping those hands underneath your shoulders and knees under your hips. Tuck your toes in, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Raising that tailbone high to the sky. Softening your shoulders down your back. Taking a deep breath. Dropping your ankles to the mat. I'm trying to bring those ankles down. Bringing your chest in towards your thighs. And keep those fingers spread out wide. Gripping the mat. Inhale, 
Inhale, send the right foot up and back for three-legged dog. Keep that toe pointing down and the hips down. You'll feel the stretch in the left hamstring here. Exhale, low lunge. Step forward, putting the foot in between your hands. And from here, half splits, drop the back knee down. And then we're just gonna tilt our hips back and straighten our front leg. My leg is not straightening in VR, so that's cool. That's fun. All right, why? Why are you not doing it? Okay. Well, my leg is straight right now. <laughs> as straight as you can get it, you don't have to be completely straight. You're allowed to have a little bit of a bend in your knee. But taking a deep breath in, straighten your back. And then exhale. Just bringing your head, your head over your leg, feeling a stretch in your hamstring. breath here. And coming back to low lunge. Raising up the back knee. And then from here we'll do a side twist, so easy twist. Putting your left hand down on the mat and the right arm up to the sky. Take a big breath in here. Each exhale, twisting a little bit higher to the sky. And then release, coming back to low lunge. And drop the back knee down for crescent lunge. Sweep your arms up high. Chest up high, brighten it. And then exhale for angel wings, bringing your elbows down to your sides. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. And inhale, sweep the arms up, back to crescent lunge. Exhale, low lunge. Bringing the hands down to the mat and straighten that back knee. Inhale here, drop your controllers. And exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, bringing up the left leg high in the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale, step forward. Low lunge. And half Hanuman on this side. So dropping that back knee. Tilting our hips back and straightening the front leg. And from here, taking a big breath in. Exhale as we fold over the front leg. Remember your leg can be a little straight or a, a little bent here. Whatever is comfortable for you. And release. Inhale here. Coming back to low lunge. Finding easy twists, planting the right hand down on the mat. Left arm up to the sky. We're rotating that right hip down. Left hip to the sky. And chest to the sky. And release, coming back down to low lunge. And crescent half angel, the dropping the back knee and sweeping the arms up for crescent lunge. 
And exhale, bringing the elbows down by your side. Pushing your chest forward and squeezing your shoulder blades together. One more inhale here. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the mat and back knee lifts. And deep breath in here, dropping your controllers. Stepping back, exhale, down dog. A couple breaths here. You can pedal out your legs here if that feels good. Stretch out your calves. I'm gonna leave you guys here for one minute while I fix my tracking, okay? <laughs> give, me, give, me, give me one sec. If you need to uh, relax, you can always go back into child's pose, which is the pose that we started at the beginning. job you guys okay okay uh my mats are gone don't panic it's fine it's fine nobody panic there you go okay i'm back you guys are doing very not in the right spot for me you know what this is Scrap, that's just gonna have to be like that. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, so from down dog here. We're going to shift forward to plank, keeping the hips high, and then exhale, slowly lower down to your belly. I'm just going to take a breath here. You guys are holding that down dog for a while. I'll give you a minute. Take a few deep breaths here. And then from here, we're going to come up to uh, a side plank pose. So lifting up your hips here. You can use your um, leg to support you um, for a knee down side plank. Left arm grounded into the mat. Spread your fingers out wide here. And then right leg back out long behind you. And sweeping your right arm up to the sky. For a side plank, if you want to spice up your practice a little bit today, um, you can choose to not use your leg as a kickstand and straighten out that back leg for a full side plank. Whatever is comfortable for you. Keeping your hips up high. Steady breaths here. Very good job. And then release. Drop the right hand back to the mat. Coming back to down dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. And from here we'll do side plank modified on the other side. So you can drop your right knee down, use it as a kickstand for yourself. Right hand rooted into the mat and left hand up high. Keeping your hips up high, and if you want to spice up your practice again, you choose to balance on that knife edge of your foot. Taking a big breath here. 
Try and raise up those hips a little bit higher. And release arm down, coming back to down dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. Knees up high, or like, hips up high. And then exhale, slowly lower down to the mat, keeping your elbows tucked in by your sides. From the mat, we'll do a forearm plank. So put your elbows out in front of you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, raise your hips up. Try and keep that breath steady. Big inhales. Feeling the shake in our cores. One more breath, big inhale. And then exhale, you can come back down. Good job. Take a big breath in here. You can plant your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bring the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. So bend your knees, gaze forward, take a deep breath in. Exhale, you can step or hop to the top of your mat. And then inhale here, coming to a halfway lift, so straighten your back. You can put your hands on your knees, shins, or the floor. And then exhale, forward fold, folding over our front legs. And then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold again. And from here, slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae, taking your time as we come up to Tadasana or mountain pose. Alrighty, from here we'll practice our first standing balance. So we'll be doing a knee lifted to knee lifted open. We're going to start balancing on our right leg here. So just get those steady foundations through your feet. Really um, kind of dig your feet into the mat, kind of pushing into all four corners. You know, your toes, your heel. We want it kind of evenly distributed. And then from here, we're going to raise our knee up. You can grab your knee with your left hand. Right hand can go to your hip. And if you'd like, you can focus your gaze on a single point. As you work on your balance on this pose, you might fall out. And if that happens, it's okay. Just come back to Tadasana. Stand tall and begin again. Keep the crown of your head high here. And then knee lifted open, stay balancing. Exhale, sweep the left knee out to the side. Maybe gaze out beyond your right shoulder. You can get a few breaths here. Standing tall like a tree. And release. Slowly lower the leg to the mat. Very good job. And you know, whenever if you fall out of it, it's all about the process. You get to work towards something, you get to work towards maybe holding it another second longer. It's exciting. So from here. To practice for a reason. Exactly. Because you're practicing it. Got it. So we're going to balance on the same leg here. Yeah, your legs may be a little bit tired, but this is where the magic happens, okay? So we're going to do tree pose, uh, standing on our right leg. 
So bringing, you can uh, grab hold of your left leg here, grab hold of your shin and just tuck your foot into your thigh or your shin, not your knee. Um, we're, we're kind of pushing our leg, pushing our left leg into our, our right thigh here. I don't know what's going on with my tracking, I have no idea, but just know my leg's out like this. Tracking, tracking, tracking be something today. Today is, today is one of those days. And then when you get into position, you bring your hands to heart center. Pushing your leg into your uh, thigh. And then bringing your energy into the center. Take a couple breaths here. And if you, fall, if you fall, it's okay. Give yourself a second, you can come back into it. Leg might be burning a bit. Feel free to take any breaks that you need. And release. You can shake it out. Very good job. It was a long, it was a long time to balance on a leg. And then coming back to mountain pose, Vidasana. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So starting with knee lifted, balancing on our left foot here. And bring the right knee up and then take hold of it with your hand. Left hand to hip. And as you exhale, you're here. Try and find that point to focus on. And remember, if you get wobbly or you fall, just come right back. And the knee lifted open. Stay balancing here. Exhale, opening the right knee to the side. Even if you can't go very far, that's okay. If you like, you can take your gaze over to your left shoulder. Tracking? No. No. few more breaths here. And you can release. Bring your foot back down. Shake it out. Shake, shake it out a bit. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side for tree pose. So balancing here. On the left leg, grabbing hold of our right leg, tucking it into your shin or your thigh. When you find that stability, bring in your hands to heart center, squeezing everything in, pushing foot into thigh, hands together. bit of burn in our calves. Stand a little bit taller, bring in your crown up high. One more breath. And release. Shake it out. Nice job team. Alrighty, so circle sweep arms to the sky, take a deep breath in, exhale, spill forward, forward fold, and then inhale, coming up to chair pose, sweep the arms overhead, feet together, 
shifting the weight back into your heels. If you look down, you should be able to see your toes. So you can adjust your shins back a little bit, or your hips back a little bit. Turning your palms to face each other. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, taking a deep breath in, lengthening through our spines, and exhale, revolve chair. Rotating our torso to the right, bringing your tricep to the outside edge of your right thigh. Pushing your hands together, fingers together here. Feel like you can drop your controllers so you have more service area for your hands to be pushing. Pushing tricep into thigh, thigh into tricep. Each exhale twisting a little bit deeper. And release. Forward fold. Just be heavy here. You can sway from side to side if that feels good. Inhale, slowly rolling up, coming up to mountain pose, Tadasana. Inhale, circle sweep arms to sky. Exhale and spill forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And pushing in your hands to the quads, shins to the floor, lengthening your spine. And then exhale. Left foot back for low lunge. Crescent lunge here. Drop the back knee down. Inhale, sweeping arms up. Pushing our hips forward and down. You need to tilt back a little bit. <laughs> Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthening our spine again, bringing up our crown as tall as we can go. Exhale, revolved crescent twist to the right. So left tricep goes into right outer thigh. Same kind of thing we were doing in chair pose, but we're doing it here in crescent lunge. Pushing your hands into one another. Deepen the twist on each exhale. And each inhale. Lengthening your spine, bringing your crown up high. Slowly unwind, coming back down to low lunge. Low lunge. Low lunge. <laughs> then inhale, star pose from here. So uh, twist your front toes in and sweep your arms up high. And then exhale, wide-legged fold. We're going to hinge at the hips here. And then fold all the way down. And bring in your hands to the mat if you can. If not, that's okay too. On each inhale here, we're going to lengthen our spine. And then exhale, folding forward. And bring in our chest in towards our thighs. You can just be heavy here and let your head hang. We'll take a few breaths. Low lunge, bend the right knee, and then turn your toes towards the front of the mat. And frame your front foot with your hands. You can gaze forward here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Forward fold, stepping forward. I'm just being heavy. Chair pose. Bend your knees. Reach your arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Taking deep breath in. Exhale, revolved chair on the other side here. 
the right elbow, the left outer thigh. Growing along our spine here for each inhale and twisting deeper on each exhale. Pushing them into one another to deepen the twist. Getting that weight back in your heels. And forward fold, slowly unwind. Let your hands drop. You can sway here. We'll take a breath or two. Inhale, slowly rolling up. It's refined Tadasana. Circle sweep arms to sky. Soften your knees and spell forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot back. Low lunge. Crescent lunge, dropping the back knee. Sweep the arms up. Big breath in. As you exhale, you're pushing your hips forward and down. You might feel an opening in your hip flexor. And exhale, hands to prayer. As you breathe in, pushing your palms together. Exhale, revolved crescent, twisting to the left, connecting tricep to thigh. You can gaze beyond your left shoulder. And remember every breath in lengthening our spine, every breath out, twisting a little bit deeper. A little lunge, gently unwind, floating your hands down to frame your front foot. Star pose from here, pivoting, pivoting the toes in. Inhale, stretch your arms to the sky. Exhale, wide-legged fold, hinging at the hips, folding all the way down. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, spilling your torso down. Bringing that chest in towards your inside of your thighs. Let's be heavy here for a few more breaths. Low lunge, bending into the left knee, and we'll face toward the front of our mats. Take a deep breath in here. And dropping your controllers. Spreading your hands out wide. Exhale, stepping back. The downward facing dog. Settle it out here if that feels good. a couple breaths. You might notice a little bit more flexible now from where you started at the beginning. Your downward dog, maybe your, your ankles are a little closer to the mat. Taking a big breath in here. Big breath out. coming to a seat. Putting your legs out in front, knees bent, butt to the mat. Here in staff bent knees. Then bound angle pose. So draw the uh, soles of your feet together, 
your knees open wide. Don't really worry about how close or far your feet are. Just do whatever's comfortable for you and set up tall. You can grab hold of your ankles with your hands. And then on your exhale, slowly hinging forward at the hips. Inhale, lengthening your back. And then exhale, we're going to fully fold down over our legs. Pulling your face towards your feet or your chest towards your feet. Just letting gravity pull you down here as you feel the stretch in your inner thighs. Gently start to rise back up, shoulders over hips. Close your knees, place your feet on the mat. We're gonna slowly lower our backs down to the mat. Keeping your knees pointing up to the sky. Supine twist, draw your right knee to your chest, left leg out long. A big breath in here as you hug the knee in. And then exhale. Let the right knee fall over to the left side. And then you're taking your right arm out to the right and your gaze out to the right as we feel this twist. you want a little more anchor on that knee, you can choose to take your left hand, place it on top of your leg if you want to pull it down a little bit. And we'll stay here for a few breaths. Bring the feet back to the mat, knees pointing to the sky. And we'll do the other side. So right leg out long, squeezing the left knee in. Exhale, drape the, the knee over the body. And then sending your left arm out to the left. And gaze to the left. And we'll take a few more breaths here. Coming back to center, bring the feet back to the mat. Hug both knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Very good job today, everyone. You did absolutely fantastic. Tell yourself you're awesome, you're capable, you're incredible. And you take one last inhale. And then exhale, we'll release down into our final pose, Shavasana. Legs out long, arms out by your sides, 
You can flip your palms up to the sky. As we settle into this final pose, just going to try and invite some stillness in our body and our minds. Whatever thoughts might come to you, you can acknowledge them, but then let them go. As we just lie here and exist. Start to deepen your breath. Bring some gentle movement back into your fingers and your toes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste. 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 If you Nama gotta stay on your mat, you can do that. <laughs> YouTube, thank you so much for joining me. I uh, hope you had a good practice. If you have any questions, you can always feel free to DM me. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you <laughs> thank you, YouTube. <laughs>